All right, so check it out. This is the top of the antenna. The entire antenna is about eight feet long. But as you can see, you got a split right there. And then there's one, actually there's several splits all the way around. This is the middle of the antenna right here. This is the coupling that joins the two halves. Again, there's a split on each side. The elements actually melted and their little cotton buffers that are in there look mildly burnt or foam buffers that are in the tube. And then as you get down towards the end, it's not quite as bad. Then when you get down to the metal, you have this one burn mark, mild burn mark there, it might have happened on the inside. And then when you look where the clamps, where the clamps went around, I'm trying to focus it here, right there, there's these little spot welds. You can see like, and there's a big one there. You can see, well, I guess it, like the, the splattering of the arc. And then there's also one at the very bottom. Uh, surprisingly, that's where the connector goes in. So, surprised it didn't get a whole lot worse. And what's really strange is if you look at the setup, See, that's the new antenna, the little one. And it's right beside my phone booster. The phone booster is made out of steel. That's a steel pipe. That didn't get touched at all. And right behind it, right at the center of my finger there, right behind the stone, is the wireless internet, which that didn't get touched at all. Just the fiberglass antenna. But anyway, you would have thought that the metal pole of that one would have been struck, but it was the fiberglass one that was struck. So after seeing that, it left me with two questions, and I am not an electrical engineer or an electrician, so I don't know a lot about electricity and lightning and that kind of thing. So I was hoping to utilize the YouTube viewers to help me answer two questions. My first question is, does that look like the result of a direct lightning strike? And my second question, regardless of how you answered the first one, is it typical of lightning to strike an antenna and not travel down the coax into the radios? I didn't have the antenna properly grounded, nor ground on the coax, but it seems after being struck, the coax is absolutely fine, the fittings are absolutely fine, and all of the equipment on the inside. I really appreciate everyone's help on this one. Hopefully, you can share your knowledge with me and others who may have the same question. Until then, have a great day and thank you for watching.